What's up guys? Today we're going to do the official Massonomics review on the Strengthco Olympic Iron Barbell Plates. Let's do this. A little bit about these plates. They are machined and e-coated, made in America, and I think everyone can agree they look great. They're available in 45s, 25s, 10s, 5s, 2 and a halfs, and they also have 1 and a quarters and 100s coming very soon. For today's review, we're going to do a deep dive on the design, accuracy, feature, and value of these plates. Full disclosure, the Strength Co. is a sponsor of the Massonomics Podcast, and we were given these plates for free, but we're still going to do our best to give you the unbiased Massonomics take on these plates. First up, we're gonna take a look at the design of these plates. And they have a classically beautiful design. The Strength Co branding is prominently displayed on the top of the plate. The weight is next to it. And there is a four spoke design to these as well. The made in USA stamp is around the center. So you know, you know exactly where they're made. No surprises there. They are machined and E-coated to give them a smooth finish on the sides and inner diameter. And the, the E-coat provides a black finish that's held up really well for us. We've had these several months at the Massonomics gym and uh, we've seen almost no chipping and we, we really do put these things to the ringer here. So you know it's a quality finish on these plates. The next thing we're gonna look at is some of the features and the functions of these Strength Co. plates. One thing that I really love is the 1.99 inch center diameter on all of these plates. It allows for a really tight fit on the bar. It fits snug especially when you compare it to some of the uh, cheaper plates that are out there, they have this sloppier fit and it really becomes apparent when you do the deadlift, when you use them, when the barbells or when the plates are resting on the ground, you can, you can see that slop back and forth. So the tight tolerance kind of corrects that on these Strength Co. plates. Uh, another thing that I think is cool is the machined outer and inner diameter on all the plates. Um, it allows for nice handling and I think it just looks cool. Whenever they're machining things, that adds a more polished look to the plates. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the thickness of these plates. They're not what would be conventionally thought of as a deep dish plate. They're more of a, a not, not overly thin, but a standard thickness. And you could have preferences either way between the dip, deep dish and the standard thickness, but I really like this. Uh, I think it has a good look to it. It has more of a classic feel. And then it allows you to fit more plates on the barbell. And honestly, who doesn't want more plates on the barbell? Next up, we're going to take a look at the accuracy of these plates because what good is a plate if it's not what it says it is? The Strength Co. bills these plates as being within 2% of their listed weight. So let's take a look at what these things weigh. First up, we're going to take a look at the two and a half. Throw it on our scale here and it comes in at two pounds, eight ounces. That's dead on. What more could you ask for there? Next, we have the five pound. Five pounds is coming in at four pounds, 15 ounces within one ounce. That's also great. Now we have the 25. 25 is coming in at 25 pounds, eight ounces, or within eight ounces. Still looking good. And last we have the big boy, the 45 pound plate. And we're showing up as 45 pounds, one ounce, really accurate. And if you're Massonomics and you know people, you have some connections. And in this case, that connection is the limited edition one of one 35 pound plate made by Grant. Uh, he put a little video together showing us how he made this thing. We'll link that down below. But let's see how the 35 holds up. 35 pounds, 12 ounces. It is a 35, you gotta do a little extra work, but I think a 35 is, is worth it and we can all agree on that. Next thing we want to look at is the price of these plates. Everyone always wants to talk about price when you're looking at gym equipment. And uh, of course, we're going to cover that too. Price is one thing. You also want to look at the value of the plates, uh, what you're getting when you buy the plates. So we talked about all the features here. It adds to what you're getting. They're made in America. Uh, all that is important. I think at the end of the day, you're still getting a good value for these plates, even though the price might be a little higher when you compare it to the budget plates. So when we break down the price of the plates, I think it's great to compare it uh, as far as the 45s go because price per pound can get different as you get into the lower weights. You know, price per pound is gonna go, always gonna go up as you get into lower weight plates. So if we look at just the 45s, a pair of 45s from the Strength Co. costs $195. That's $2.17 per pound. You've also gotta be, get these shipped to you unless you live in uh, California next to the Strength Co. You're gonna have to get them shipped. Uh, to get a pair of 45s shipped to you, it's going to cost 
$53.07, so that ends up being an extra 58 cents a pound. When you add that with the, the 217, it puts it right at 275 per pound. So that's a great round number that you can figure when you're buying these plates. You might save a little bit on shipping if you order more than just a pair of 45s, but 275 per pound at the end of the day, that's gonna be what you can expect when you're buying the Strength Co plates. So Tanner, we've looked at the design, the features, the functionality, the value of these Strength Co plates. What do you think? I love them. Just like you said, I think it checks all the boxes as far as that. I think you get the, the value here on these made in America uh, cast and machine plates. Uh, my only complaint, if I had to pick one, is that we don't have enough of them here. We need more at Massonomics Gym. I agree. That is, that is the biggest problem. Yes, they are the go-to plate, like they say. Uh, so, Massonomics, we recommend Strength Co plates. You guys should pick up a pair. Uh, if you do like this review, though, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow Massonomics on YouTube. And also make sure to follow Massonomics on Instagram, at Massonomics. Check out the podcast. You can find our video of the podcast every week on YouTube or make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, you can find us. And also, don't forget to pick yourself up some of that sweet Massonomics swag. Tanner has the Varsity Tee. I'm rocking the Icon Tee myself over here. You can get that at Massonomics.com. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. See ya.